guys, what's up? It's James here with Kyle. Yo. And Travis. Hello, everyone. Today we are doing a different video than normal. It's not a joke video like last time, but um, today we are doing a glitch video. Um, possibly one of the only glitch videos that I'll ever do on this channel. But um, it is a waterworks glitch video. Mainly, um, the glitch is you know used for uh, skipping waterworks and stuff like that. But the main purpose for showing you guys this glitch. Um, it's for the upcoming, um, well, uh, Universal, uh, following, I guess, like, we want you guys to join in on. Basically, what we're trying to do is bring Legend Peeve back to Wiz. Kyle is going to be doing a, uh, video on his channel, so when that gets released, I'll drop, uh, his link in the description, and I'll drop these two, uh, guys' channels, links in the description for you guys to go check them out. Travis, you have a channel, right? Yes. Alright, so... I'll drop the channel links in the description, but yeah, this glitch is mainly used to skip Luska and the Lever Battles. Um, uh, another reason for us showing you guys this glitch is if you guys want to get some fast gear from uh, Luska, or if you guys want to skip Luska to get to the main boss faster to get your hat or robe, I mean your boots or robe, my bad. Um, this glitch can be used to pass those bosses pretty easy. Um, using this glitch usually cuts like, I want to say like 15 minutes of your time. Oh, and that's like a... And I mean that's that's kind of a lot, especially like when you have like a storm helping you, stuff like that. It, it, it can cut a lot of time between runs. So uh, if you guys want to bring up a legendary character to peeve on, or if you guys just want to get some gear, uh, so you can like farm uh, Hades or something like that, because usually people use waterworks so they can farm Hades. Um, you guys can use this glitch. Uh, it's not really well known. I did do a poll on Twitter. Uh, asking some of my followers if they knew about the glitch or not and most of the uh, results came out that um, People did not know the glitch. So today we're showing you guys the glitch We hope you guys I uh, enjoy this and use this in the future Let's uh, let us know in the comment section below and leave a like uh, if it helped you in any way or if it will help you in any way um, So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys when we get to the uh, first part and then Pretty much tutorialize you guys on uh, how to do it. So see you guys then Alright, so here in the first room, we have cleared out the enemies. Um, in the first room, all you want to do is just clear out the first enemies. Maybe temp if you're a Max Storm or something, or if you have a Max Storm friend, or you're on a, another person's account. Maybe your, your account, doesn't matter. So clear out the first room of enemies, and Kyle walk with me in the second room. We'll show you guys how to execute the actual glitch. And this is basically what's used throughout um, Waterworks. Hopefully you. We're both in the room. Uh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay, so what you want to do is have the character that you want to hit the lever with out of the room Wait till the person's in the battle, so go, go ahead in the battle All right. All right. Then yeah. enter the room And this is where it comes in so what you want to do is walk in the battle once it's executed and the pips are showing and everything Have the first person flee Let's go ahead and flee And then ghost walk through over to the lever hit it and that's basically it and that's what you do for Luska that's what you do for the other level bat lever battles in waterworks and yeah you basically just glitch walk through the enemies cuz what happens is um when you walk into battle and the and the first phase has already started um, the game is programmed to give you uh, in, in like an infinite phase walk and what that means is like uh, you guys know how when you complete battles um, you go like invisible just like you saw me go like like right there uh, the game is programmed to do that even when you enter a battle and then the person flees otherwise you just get like infinitely pulled over and over and over again and yeah the game would be like physically broken well not physically but like I mean yeah it'd be broken so the game's programming allows you to uh, perform that glitch in waterworks so um, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it on Luska just in case you guys want to see that and yeah we're gonna go ahead and run the full dungeon for you guys so we'll see how Luska Alright guys, so when you get to Luska, it's the same routine, uh, walk up to Luska, have somebody go in the battle, wait for it to initiate, walk in, and have the first person flee. So Kyle, go ahead and showcase that. Walk in, wait for it. Now just, just for the record, um, Travis is gonna try to go around. Go ahead, around it, try. And you get pulled, so, yeah, it's pretty much the only way you can, so just walk in. Kyle flee and then Kyle can always come back with dungeon recall hit the lever and yeah your worst nightmare the squid is basically out of the question so that's completed 
we'll see you guys at the next level part and yeah it's the same routine throughout and then we'll uh, defeat the final boss look at the drops and uh, Alright, so we just cleared out the room of enemies after Luska, and we're about to go in the next room and do the same exact lever glitch, so Kyle, go ahead and let me know when you're in the battle. So when he's in, same routine, we're just gonna go in, have him flee, and then hit the lever. Alright, join. Yeah. Alright. So walk in. In the battle, pips are showing. Flee. Walk over, hit the lever, and... Yeah, it's saving a bunch of time, actually. Alright, the next lever is in the other room with the puzzle, so we'll see you guys in that room. Alright, so we are in the room after you have to complete the puzzle, the follow me puzzle, but, um... Yeah, we kind of messed that up, and I had to have to end up defeating the storm eels. But yeah, this is the next part, so Kyle, go ahead in and let me know when you're there. Then I'll enter and have him flee, same routine. I'm in. Alright. Enter, and fully. Then dungeon recall the lever. And we'll see you guys when we get the uh, last boss drops from this dungeon. Just to show you guys that uh, there are no penalties for doing this glitch. So yeah, we'll see you guys then. Alright guys, we just completed Water Warriors. We just defeated Celestial Glowworm. And here are the drops. Anyone getting anything good? I got steel. steel. Let me check. Please! Mega. No! I didn't get it! Yeah, <laughs> you didn't get your robe. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, I got steel. I got steel. This yeah. is freaking bull! Um. Get me megas? Yeah, I get I, I, nothing. I, get ever. I mean, not mega snack. Oh, my boots. Which I uh, don't need, but yeah. So, yeah, as you guys can see, the glitch fully works. There are no penalties for running this glitch. I think some dungeons actually do have penalties for, like, skipping certain bosses and not doing the dungeon legitly. Um, some dungeons even, like, like glitch out and, like, not give you, like, any XP for completing it, like, the quest even. Like, you don't have to, like, you have to, like, do the complete dungeon over again. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this glitch. Hope you guys use it in the future. Uh, hashtag Legend Peep if you do stick around for the whole video in the comment section below. If you are going to make a legend and thinking about doing Peep on it, hope this glitch helps you get your gear faster. Again, Kyle will be making a Hype Legend P promotion video on his channel, so I'll link that ch that video down in the description uh, whenever that video goes up. It might not go up as soon as I post this video, so I'm sorry if it doesn't, but uh, this is James, Kyle, and Travis. Their channel links will be down in the description. Giving you guys a sign off. See you guys next probably PvP episode coming out later this weekend. So yeah, peace!